This book is called Métis Christmas Mittens, written and illustrated by Leah Marie Dorian. My family has a Christmas mitten tradition. On cold winter days, Métis Christmas mittens are made to warm the hands and the heart. When snow greets the land, Métis families begin to make their special Métis Christmas mittens by hand. So they make their gifts by hand. Have you ever made any gifts by hand? Mittens are joyfully worn for every child and adult. Métis mittens have been made everywhere across the homeland, from the Red River, which is in Manitoba, to the Peace, which is in British Columbia. Métis Christmas mittens are made to show we care and to tell others that they belong. So by sharing, we show that they belong. Old brown paper mitten patterns made by grandma's own design are folded and put in a tin can. Where do you store things that are precious to know that you can get them again at another time? Here, we used a tin can. Some Métis mittens are scented with smoked tanned moose hide. Others are trimmed with beautiful soft beaver fur to calm and comfort the worried mind. What are your mittens made of? Other Métis Christmas mittens are made from recycled pieces of cloth. This is a reminder to reuse and recycle everything we have and to treat everything with respect. We don't want to waste anything. In every stitch, a prayer is made to bring blessings from our caring creator. In the Métis world, God is called the creator. Métis Christmas mittens are sewn together by hand using a sharp needle and strong sinew for thread. And that means you have to be really careful because you've got a sharp needle and you want to do a good job. Many mittens are decorated with beautiful flower beadwork, ribbons, and fine embroidery stitches. There are so many different kinds of Métis Christmas mittens. The variety and the possibilities are endless. Pom-poms, tassels, and fringes are sometimes added for decoration to our Métis Christmas mittens. In the picture, you'll see that the cat is playing with the pom-poms and notice the hearts that are rising up between the two people. There was an old Métis tradition to place a small beaded heart on the back of the thumb for good luck and to show love from the maker, the maker of the mittens. A touch of beadwork reminds us to live every day connected to our heart because it takes a lot of effort and love to do the beadwork. It shows that they care. There are all kinds of Métis mittens, but no two pairs are made exactly the same, just like us. Métis people make mittens to give away. A mitten is rarely lost by a traveling dog team driver. In the old days in the north, you didn't have a car, you had a dog team. Often, a musher's mittens are held together by a brightly braided cord 
which runs through their sleeves. So they dangle out their jacket arms. So that means you can take your mittens off to do something and then not forget where they are or lose them. They're right there so that you can put them back on. Métis mittens are placed in a mitten box right beside the front door. Mittens are given away to traveling friends, relatives, and strangers visiting from afar. Again, generosity and giving things to those people. Christmas is always a treasured time to give someone in your circle of care, someone in your family, a homemade pair of Métis Christmas mittens. And you'll see in this picture, again, the holding hands with mittens on them and the hearts that are between them. And that's the end of our story. What you're going to see now is some pictures of mittens with tassels on them, made in beadwork, some in embroidery, And at the end of those pictures, you're going to hear a story about a Cree lady. So many of the Métis come from Cree families. And it's a Cree lady who wanted to make a copy of the mittens, the, the mittens that her grandmother made. So thank you for listening to the story. I hope you enjoyed it. And think of what you might want to make during the holidays and you can give away to your circle of care. Thank you. Mm -hmm.